important thing with our applications in Svelte. There is something that you can use as kind of a service that's provided by Netlify Identity. They've made a little widget and uh, it's based on the GoThroughJS library. So the kind of stuff that you can do with that is you can have like a login window and a pop-up and you can do all this stuff here and there's different options, you can sign up. Um, but basically this widget isn't isn't that feature complete that you can't go on there and change your password, change your email address, that kind of stuff. So and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make something from scratch that uses the GoTo uh, library for authentication, but in the sense you could use any of the library for authentication. But I want to just do it using, create a UI around the Svelte and uh, using Svelte router. So um, let's just go to show you the app that I'm working on. So this is the, the, the page here and I'm just working on it. So let's just see. And it's going to be sort of in this examples folder called examples felt routing. And it's in this felt net identity project that I'm kind of working on to provide a wrapper or in various services. Also based on uh, a library that's, that's called, um, I'll just show you the library actually. So the original library is by this guy here, SWYX React Netlify Identity. But anyway, let's just look at the, the code. So, right, so do 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 do. We've got a home page and then we've got a sign in page which has an email, password, and then we have an app with a router. And uh, the router has, um, okay, let's put auth here, has a sign in page which just loads the sign in component and then the home component. So, do 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 do. Let's just, uh, we're also using use link as well. So that's how that works. And um, let's just see. Got to sign in. We also want to make a home home link here, so we're going to just put that there as route, and let's just check the page running. Also running on a terminal. I've got this um, npm run dev, so that will give us this. Let's just check that's running. Okay, let's make sure no caching is on. Sometimes caching can cause uh, previous things to be there. So let's just refresh this. So we've got a home, and we've got a sign in. And we've got to set the auth there. So that's pretty much where we're going to start with. And um, we're going to be calling calling functions with these uh, email and password. And uh, while I actually add stuff in functionality there for logging in and stuff like that, I'm probably going to be adding stuff as well to this sort of wrapper library using TypeScript. And uh, we're going to be sort of wrapping things that work with the GoTo uh, API. So go GoTo JS. There's another thing that you should check out and we'll cover that soon. But basically it's an introduction and we'll see how far we can get. And I will link to the code that I have at the end of this video as a release in GitHub. And then if you want to contribute code before the end of this video, then that will be uh, useful as well because then we'll get through this together. Hopefully this is uh, going to be helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching.